I just want to thank all of you for participating in the Run to Home Base. Through this event, you all are supporting the Red Sox Foundation and the Massachusetts General Hospital's Home Base Program. This is an organization that's doing outstanding work for our troops, our veterans, and their families. Events like this one are a perfect example of what Dr. Jill Biden and I are trying to accomplish with our new Joining Forces campaign. This is a nationwide initiative to recognize, honor, and support our military families. We know that when our troops are called to serve, their families serve too. So we're calling on all Americans to ask themselves one simple question. How can I give back to these families that have given me so much? And all across the country, we're seeing people step up to answer that call. Sergeant George Carvalho was injured in Iraq and ran to give other vets the courage to say, I need help. If I can get one soldier to come in and get the help that he needs, you know, whether it be for the PTSD, TBI, or just, you know, everyday help, it's, I've done my job. Family members of the military suffer emotional turmoil as well. Molly Pugsley's brother is serving in Afghanistan. She was also helped by home base. Just the, your constant worry, like every time you hear a phone ring, your stomach drops, and it's that nervousness that your brother's in constant war battle, and it's not an everyday life. He's not home, he's not safe. Making this run all the more useful by aiding our veterans and their families. The repeated deployments in the past 10 years have been very difficult for military families. And in here in Massachusetts, it can be very isolating, especially when you're in the Guard, because you don't have that post feel. Everybody is spread out. Everybody is caught up in their own world. They have their own family and friends, whereas if you're set up on a post somewhere, you are each other, because your family might be from California, Minnesota, Florida, whatever. and. So you've really got to come together with the guard. It's very tough and can be very isolating, uh, especially for the kids, um, particularly the adolescents who face enough challenges just getting through their teenage years, and you also throw a deployment on top of that, and it's tough. And knowing um, that they are going to get through, and they will get through, and they're very, as I said, very resilient, it makes my job a lot easier taking care of my soldiers. And... Uh, I'd like to introduce my daughter, Alexis, who will share some of her personal experiences. When he was away, we Skyped and wrote letters and sent care packages, but I worried about him every day, especially when I would see things on the news. When my dad came home from Iraq on Christmas Eve, I was, it was one of the happiest moments in my life. I was ecstatic because it, was the long, it had been the longest year of my life. At my school, I was the only one in my class to have my dad in the military service. I told my homeroom, te homeroom teacher and my biology teacher. My best friends knew about my dad, but not a lot of people go through this, so they really don't understand. What kids like me really need is an escape from thinking about the war rather than whether our dad or our mom is okay and how much we miss them. When my dad was away, the best thing that happened to me was going to Fenway Park with a group of kids with deployed parents. We actually got to play on the field, and some of us, like me, actually got to sit in the Red Sox dugout. That really helped me get through the year. Through research, we have learned that helping children to develop their strengths and building the capacity of your community support greatly increases a child's ability to thrive in spite of extraordinary circumstances that may come their way. 
So by devoting efforts towards children, we also help their parents. Parents who seek assurances that their children are healthy and happy and well cared for. This in turn allows service members to focus on and carry out their difficult missions with precision and without distraction 